Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another wood turning tip of the week. I want to talk to you today about hones, uh, specifically uh, diamond hones and CBN hones. Um, I don't hone a lot of my tools, uh, frankly the skew is the main one, but I also hone my pocket knife and occasionally I'll hone another tool for special circumstances, uh, chisels. I'll also uh, hone, sometimes if I'm at a demonstration, I don't have access to a, a convenient uh, grinder, a Wolverine uh, sharpening jig setup, I might use the hone to kind of just uh, touch up the, the tool. Uh, specifically, there's several different kinds of hones. Th these are the kind you get from Harbor Freight. It's got all these holes in them. I'll give you a close-up. I, I don't like these. Wouldn't recommend them. Um, uh, you can get these. This is a nice convenient size called a credit card uh, hone. You can get them in different grits. I think a good grit for uh, a wood turner is probably 600 grit. Maybe you might want to drop down to 300. I don't think I'd go any finer than than 600. Um, I've got. A, I use a very nice one. It's actually a CBN hone. A CBN is is not quite as hard as diamond, but it's it's plenty hard enough for high speed steel. You don't use stones on high speed steel. It just take you forever. Keep in mind these old carborundum stones uh, uh, just won't hack it for uh, high speed steel even though they'll do okay for your pocket knife but frankly once you go to a diamond hone it's uh, faster easier and less mess than these old stones uh, to, to sharpen it but this is a very nice one it's a teardrop one from uh, uh, Ken Reza's uh, wood turning and I'll, I'll show the link uh, on there. I'm, I bought one of my CBN wheels from Ken. I bought this from Ken. I, I, it, it, this is not a promotion. Uh, I'm just a satisfied customer. Uh, the, one of the things I want to mention when you use a, a hone like this, it helps to put some type of lapping fluid on there sometimes to keep the particles uh, floating to the top, but not everybody does that. Ken says he just uses it dry and when the surface gets dirty, maybe he might put it under water and, and scrub it with, it with a toothbrush. Other things you can clean it with is certainly a uh, high polymer uh, eraser like this one from Pentel you can pick up inexpensively. I think you could probably use one of these magic erasers uh, to clean it. If you clean it under uh, underwater uh, with a little soap and water, you could probably just use a, uh, a, a toothbrush. Uh, they'll all work. I tend to use a lapping fluid, and you get some very nice lapping fluid from Trend. It's kind of pricey. I use something that uh, it's actually... Uh, ethylene glycol, it's uh, uh, antifreeze. Some people recommend uh, mineral oil. Some people use WD-40. Uh, I'm not sure I, I would like that as much. Some people just use water. Uh, I have heard that water will cause some uh, stones to, to rust. If you do use water, you might want to you know, dry it off afterwards. These uh, teardrop shape can be nice for matching to the flute of a, of a gouge. if if you're so inclined to go to that much trouble. Sometimes I do. Uh, but you've usually got a thin end and a thicker end. Uh, you've got these inexpensive little uh, fish hook sharpeners. If you have one, you know, you can use that for the for the same purpose. You've just got to be a little more careful because of the shape. Key is being careful not to ever round over the edge. These little inexpensive uh, diamond credit card hones are, are not bad. They're easy to put in your pocket. Uh, just be aware they normally only have a grid on one side. Some of them, you can get them a different uh, 350, 600. Sometimes you can get one 350 on one side and 600 on another. This has only got a grid on one side. One way you can support my channel is to visit my Amazon shop as shown on the, the screen and also in the description below the video. And if you purchase something, I'll get a small commission. Thanks.